All right, welcome to Riff of the Week. This is going to be a new mini series. We're going to go over Nightbringer, the song I Am I, the intro. <laughs> Wicked. It's so evil. It's so evil. Now it's quite simple. Your left hand needs to be in one position because the only finger that moves in your left on your left hand is your third finger in the second part of the riff. So my first finger is on the fourth fret on B and my little finger is on the seventh fret of G. What's important is the picking and making sure every string rings because it can't sound like one note after the other. It needs to sound like one gradually building one chord that gradually just builds and builds and builds and becomes more and more clustered and tense sounding. So the picking pattern is very simple. The first part, I'll play with the distortion. So I'm picking open A, open D, then the B string, then the G string, keeping my left hand in this chord shape. Now the next part, you pick an open D, then G string on the 7th fret, you do that twice. So part 1, part 2, now the last part, This is where your third finger comes in and you fret the sixth fret on A. And so your chord shape, just to go over again, in this last part of the riff, you've got your third finger on the sixth fret of your open A, making sure that the D string still rings and is not touching your third finger. Your little finger on the seventh fret of G and your first finger on the fourth fret of B. And the picking is going to be A, D, G, B, E, B, G, then D. So going up all the strings from A to E, then from E back down to D. So it's a really, so it's a really cool, really evil sick, ugh, ugly, brutal, but beautiful guitar riff. So to play the whole thing again, nice and slowly. And regarding your picking, you can, um, You can alternate pick most of it, you can down pick most of the notes, it, it's, it's entirely up to you. So that's our first riff of the week, which is I Am I by Nightbringer.